Arabic Grammar, Level 2, Lesson 9 Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala khatim al-anbiya'i wal-mursaleen Nabiina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa tabi'ayna lahum bi ihsan ila yawmiddin All praises for Allah, the Lord of the worlds, and peace and blessings be upon the seal of the prophets and messengers, our Prophet Muhammad, and upon his family and companions, and all those who follow them in righteousness, until the day of recompense. Insha'Allah, in this lesson we will introduce Nafyul Fi'alil Mubari'ah, negation of the present tense verb, and Mutabiqatul Fi'ali Ma'al Fa'il, verb subject correspondence. Nafyul Fi'alil Mubari'ah. The simple present tense verb is changed into the negative by adding la before the present tense verb. So la plus yaftahu becomes la yaftahu as in doesn't open. For example, from the positive form yadhabu ahmadu ila al Ahmad goes to work. We can change it into the negative by adding la as in لا يذهب أحمد إلى العمل في يوم الجمعة. أحمد doesn't go to work on Fridays. Here are two examples from the Quran. أم تقولون على الله ما لا تعلمون؟ Or do you say about Allah that which you do not know? And لا أعبد ما تعبدون. I do not worship what you worship. التدريب التدريب الأول Change these present tense verbs into the negative, then add all the attached pronouns. So for example, يحملو becomes لا يحملو, لا يحملاني, لا يحملون, and continue adding the pronouns. مطابقة الفعل مع الفاعل With regard to the subject in Arabic, the verbal sentence begins from the verb. Therefore, if the subject is mentioned after the verb, there will be no pronoun attached to the verb. For example, ذهب محمد وخالد إلى المدرسة. However, if the subject is mentioned before the verb, then the verbal sentence is missing the subject and a pronoun must be used. So it becomes محمد وخالد ذهبا إلى المدرسة. Here are some examples from the Quran. 1. The subject is before the verb, so the pronoun is required. So focus on the word nas is the subject of the verb yadkhulu. وَرَأَيْتَ nasa yadkhuluna fi deen اللَّهِ afwaja. And you see the people entering into the religion of Allah in multitudes. So because an nas was before the verb yadkhulu, the pronoun was attached. Number 2 is the opposite where the pronoun is not used because it comes after the verb. So the verb yasturu is before the subject and nas, so the pronoun is not used. That day the people will depart, separated, to be shown their deeds. An example of this with a negative present tense verb is لا يغش زيد وبكر And again, if the subject comes before the verb, then the pronoun is added to the verb. زيد وبكر لا يغشاني Here are some examples from the Quran. The negative where the subject is before the verb, so the pronoun is used. ولكن أكثر الناس لا يشكرون But most of the people do not show gratitude. And the opposite, where the subject is after the verb, so the pronoun is not used. لا يفلح الكافرون The disbelievers do not succeed. However, although the verb does not have a pronoun attached when the subject comes after the verb, the verb will correspond with respect to gender. For example, تعرف سالمة وفاطمة ومريم المعلمة Here, the singular feminine form of the verb corresponds to the female subjects. Otherwise it would be Salimatu wa Fatimatu wa Maryamu Yarif Nal Muallima. Here in this second sentence, the verb has the attached pronoun. 
Here is an example from the Quran with female correspondence in the singular form. إِذْ قَالَتِ امْرَأَتُ عِمْرَانَ رَبِّ إِنِّي نَذَرْتُ لَكَ مَا فِي بَطْنِي When the wife of Imran said, My Lord, indeed I have pledged to you what is in my womb. And in the case where the subject consists of both masculine and feminine, then the masculine form is used as default, as in فَتَحَ الْوَلَدُ وَالْبِنْتُ الْهَدِيَّةِ the example of this in the Qur'an, where the subject is of mixed gender, is in the verse referring to Yusuf, peace be upon him, and the minister's wife. وَأَلْفَيَا سَيِّدَهَا لَدَ الْبَابِ And they found her husband at the door. So the verb, alfaya is in the masculine form. التدريب التدريب الثاني Read and translate the following. التدريب الثالث Read the following التدريب الرابع Continue reading the following المفردات المفردات الأولى المفردات الثانية الحمد لله In this lesson we discuss negative present simple verbs and verb subject correspondence. In the next lesson we will look at the relative pronoun. Al-ism al-masool. Insha'Allah. May Allah make your journey to learning Arabic easy and give you meaning and pleasure in your prayer. Ameen. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. How perfect you are, O Allah, and I praise you. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but you. I seek your forgiveness and turn to you in repentance.